everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Luxuries. I am making another masculine soap, third one of the day for me, but um, I only post videos once a week, so first one of the week for you. Oh <laughs> yeah, sorry, I'm in a weird mood. It's been one of those days where you could either sit in a corner and cry or just, you know, laugh hysterically for no reason, and I'm choosing to laugh and just roll with it. Anyway, this one is Green Irish Tweed. I had to think about how I said that because uh, it'd be kind of a tongue twister. We're doing gold. I didn't even look to see if that was in the camera. Gold. And a dark green just as accent. I don't know. What do you think? The base is going to be a light green, and I'm thinking that's just a lot. Do we want just a lot of light green, or what do you think? We're just kind of figuring this out as we go, and uh, yeah, hi camera, but I don't know, what do you think? I don't think we should do too much green, I mean, that's a well, lot it's of green. green. Well, it's green Irish tweed. Yeah. It's supposed to be green. Here, we'll do a little bit more. That's green though. Yes. You just said not to do a lot of green. Did you change your mind? I mean, not, I mean the... How about a little more gold? That was a lot of gold. Oh, well, yeah. Does that work? Yes. <laughs> okay, good, because we're committed. Are you sure we did enough? Because I shouldn't pour the green in unless we're sure. Yeah. <laughs> you see the look she's giving me. All right. So the green is just a lot of green that I mixed. Um, couldn't really find one that struck us for either the light or for the dark. So just put a bunch together. I'm going to try to scrape it all out of here. It's all over me. Just wipe it off. Okay. Time out! For those of you editing this video, and that would be me, edit this out! Hold on, I'll give you a warning after I get the hair out of my face my mouth and my eyeball and clean off the spatula the child is handing me and I'm gonna watch this back later and go holy crap I was drunk or something okay <laughs> we're safe now <laughs> Sorry, my daughter and I just had a moment it was more me uh, we've got the giggles and I'm thinking I'm gonna have to do a lot of editing for this video but that's alright what do you think of that green I like that green. I like that green too. That's a nice green. Um, I don't like all of the color being up here on the side. It's kind of hard to get it off. There we go. Yeah, it's a nice green. Okay, I don't know that it goes so well with this green and the gold, but... And it looks like that's hard to see on camera. The lighting. Sun's going down. This is... We started this hours ago, but it's taking longer than planned. Here. There you can see it's a really pretty shimmer green, and um, I blended this too. It's a bunch of different colors. And then gold. Also really pretty and shimmery. Okay, can you grab the mold? Yes. You're going to have to hold it for a second because I just realized uh, I didn't put the fragrance in. So I hadn't, um, I hadn't smelled Green Irish Tweed before. I've heard a lot of people talk about it and people say that it's, their, it's a good seller for them. But it's not one that I've tried. Um, and if you've seen my other videos that I've posted, probably before I'm going to post this one, I've talked a bit about how we're, I'm increasing my masculine line. And this was one of the fragrances that I chose. And I like it. It reminds me of a famous um, commercial bar we don't personally use ourselves, but it reminds me of that. So 
sorry, I found my video camera. Yay! And I found the cord. Yay! And the memory card. Do Yay! It for there you go. Um, but now I'm having to adjust the camera angle again. And I'm getting used to it. When I was doing my using my iPhone, it didn't matter where I recorded because it caught the whole table. And then when I edited the video, I just had to crop where I wanted the video to focus, which was kind of nice. But I think it blurred the videos a little bit. So, nice to have the camera back. The mold. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm looking at my table here and there's nothing here that is obvious. I know I put all my additives in. Look how liquid that is. How should we do this? Should we just drop swirl it too? Yes, we Dro can. Yeah, drop swirl has been the name of the game today. fancy hanger swirls. I think we'll just do this one kind of random. How's that? Let's have some fun with it. Whoops. Hold on. Soap on the arm. There we go. this I kind of always just do up and down lines so this is different for me this green is sparkly I wonder if it's gonna I don't know if you can see it in the camera probably not but this is really sparkly really pretty I'm curious I'm curious to see if it keeps its sparkle I really like those colors. I do too. I didn't, wasn't so sure about them at first. But I think they're going to be okay. We were kind of thinking Irish and green and gold and... Pretty. I like what that's doing. I'm excited to cut this one. The bummer is, is I'm not going to be able to cut this until tomorrow night. I have a show this weekend for three days and it's supposed to be in the hundreds and in our area that is hot. It's going to be humid gonna be gross and I really want to not go I just want to stay home but I can't because I'm the vendor coordinator and um, I'm kind of committed to be there so hopefully people will come out and buy and then we won't care that it's hot and if they don't we'll probably just I don't know play in the water <laughs> I always bring squirt bottles and cooling towels and um, I talked to the venue owner and she's looking at getting some of those um, freestanding misters and it's a winery so you know we we can find ways to pass the time I'm sure I'm kidding I'm not a heavy drinker so <laughs> I'll have a glass of wine once in a while but it's pretty rare I'm not much of a wine drinker actually I like um, fruity drinks. This is so fluid. I'm just like taking my time and this third soap I've done today and every single one has been like this. It's such a change. I, all of my soaps before were moving so fast and so thick and um, I think I figured out it was the type of olive oil that I was using. Smacked it down, but I don't think I really even need to do that. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the gold in. I've got a mica drizzle for the top. And I just saved gold. I'm thinking the green would have been kind of cool too, but we were kind of thinking 
gold was appropriate. It's just what stood out to us. And we had, I have a shelf hanging on my wall that is full of colorant. And we had a ton down on the table and we were mixing and matching and putting it all together trying to decide what was going to be the best. And the gold was the winner. It was actually not something we were even considering and I just wasn't finding anything that struck me and I moved a color and saw it sitting there and I went, ah, oh, this is perfect. And the bucket is right in your way, isn't it? Sorry about that. I try to be mindful, but... I am super happy with my camera angle now, and I hope you are too. Seems to be working. I think I'm going to play with how... Um, I have the camera when I'm cutting. When I was using my phone, that was an issue couldn't quite get the placement just right and I've, I haven't been able to correct that in the editing part so we're just going to have to suffer through those but now that I have the video camera back I might be able to work with that a little bit better this green I think is going to lighten up slightly because some of the greens that I used in here change and drop a little bit in I don't want it to be heavy dark green on the top. It's inevitable. Whenever I soap, I always have an itch or I feel like I have something on my face or something. I can't do anything about it. And then the moment I take off my gloves, it's gone. So I think it's my imagination. Okay. the actually the soap in the mold I love mica drizzles mica, mica swirls um, I had someone ask me at a show I did last weekend why I didn't put gold or not gold um, glitter on the top of my masculine soaps they thought that I needed to do that but you know I just I don't think glitter is appropriate in my masculine soaps my husband doesn't care if there's glitter on the bar or not but I have had some people come through that just really turn their noses up at it and I like glitter on my soaps so I'm going to continue to use it but it doesn't need to be on everything I like sparkly things um, but I don't want to alienate, you know, people because it has glitter. My husband, he does some shows for me too. And he likes to tell people he doesn't sparkle like a vampire. <laughs> so, yeah, whatever works. All right. I'm just going to lightly swirl this. This is so pretty. And I don't think I'm going to move this. I normally pick these up and hold up to the camera, but it's so liquid, liquidy, loose. You know, it's not solidified at all. I'm going to leave it here for a little bit, and I'll clean up and get ready. I have one more batch to do tonight. But there is green Irish tweed. Zoom works. <laughs> don't go anywhere. I'll attach the cutting video on the back half of this. Okay, here is green Irish tweed out of the mold. Lighting is going to be kind of funky because it's late. I had my show today, 100 degrees, and we had like 20 people show up. So we were all out there melting. And uh, so it's pretty late now. I wanted to get this cut. I'm playing with the camera angle, so we'll see. Whoops. This is soft. I just took a chunk out of it. I can't show you, but anyway, there's the inside of the first loaf. Okay, so here is one of the loaves. I think this is one of the end ones. I just cut the middle loaf. This is 
still pretty soft, but it looks pretty cool. And it still smells very nice. It's not too strong, but it's very clean and refreshing. And I don't think you can see, but the dark green especially, I don't think it's focusing. Lots of sparkle. Oh, maybe there. Lots of sparkle. A little bit of sparkle in the gold. Just shimmer. And I hope the lighting is okay. It's pretty late. But this soap will be ready. One more here. October 2017 it will be available on my site stargazerluxuries.com if you liked the video please be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe thanks for watching